Hello, hello. Today, I thought it would be a really good idea to... What kind of title am I gonna use? Makeup free glasses. That's what I'm doing. Okay, this took me a while to find out, but I did my research. Look at this. There are various steps to take, and I've found the top six to look good with makeup. Look good with makeup. Look good with glasses on. <laughs> so if you're a nerd like me who wears glasses, I've been wearing glasses for a while. I found out I think when I was eight or nine, which is pretty late to find out that you need glasses. <laughs> but it's a funny story actually. We were driving around in Montreal and all of a sudden I see this big white circle and I'm like, Oh my God, look at the moon. It's so big. And I'm in the back seat and my parents are in the front and this is what they do. Is you blind? <laughs> it wasn't the moon, it was a clock tower. And <laughs> I saw it so blurry that I couldn't see like the little, the hands of it. So yeah, that's when I found out I needed glasses. It took me a while to get this straight, but I really always wanted to know what looks best with glasses on because I need to wear glasses every day to see. I can see from up close, but I can't see from far away. So I've got some little tips for you guys. And if you guys wanna find out what they are, keep watching. All I have on my face right now is foundation and concealer. Pretty basic, I mean, nothing, like I haven't done any contour or anything. I'm, I'm gonna do a very basic, just what you need. So the first tip, your glasses frame your eyes, but your brows frame your glasses. <laughs> you wanna focus on the area around the eyes, glasses, bring attention to this area of your face because you have these little spectacles on. This will be the good side, this will be the I didn't do anything side. So I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt this brow. Whoa, that's dark. What am I doing? Well, we're gonna brush it out anyways. What I like to do is I actually grab these from Sephora. They're literally free for trying on, I think, either brow stuff or mascara stuff, and I just grab them. I have like four, and I've just, I just use these to brush away. Good thing I'm doing this on my good side, like my good brow. This is my good brow. This is my, <sighs> I love this brow. I'm gonna grab some Bye Bye Under Eye it Co from It Cosmetics Concealer. And then we're gonna do the top. Baby, it's you. You're the one I love. You're the one I need. You're the only thing I see. Come on, baby, it's you. You're the one that gets you off. You're the one that can always call. When I need you, baby, everything stops. Finally, you put my love on top. Bam! So look at the difference between this little spaghetti noodle and this bam brow i already have concealer on my under eye but i'm gonna actually go ahead and highlight my under eye because not because i want to do a whole contour and highlight thing because fyi so as you can see i don't know where is it okay there it is if you can see this every pair of glasses casts a shadow under your eyes so you want to conceal that and highlight it because you don't want to be looking like you got dark on the eyes just because you're wearing glasses. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But as always, I'm gonna use, if you watch any of my other videos, I always use my Smashbox Sheep Matters highlight. Why am I doing this with my glasses on? <laughs> you need to do this to um, set your concealer anyways. You can go ahead and conceal or Conceal your concealer, really. I wonder if that's a thing. Concealer for concealers. Probably not. You need to set your concealer with a powder, whether that be this highlight, which helps brighten up your under eye, or a powder foundation. Just a reminder, we're still on step number one. So this is just, we're focusing on the area around our eye. So we did the brow, we did the under eye highlight, but I usually wouldn't do this step um, before I do my eyes, but I will just because I'm doing these steps in the same kind of section. We're gonna go in with blush because 
your glasses are right here. They're gonna bring attention to your cheekbones. So you want them to look nice and rosy. Not too much, stay subtle. You don't wanna do harsh makeup with glasses because it just won't look good. All right, so step number two will be the actual eyes. And for that, we're gonna stick to neutral colors. You don't wanna do harsh colors on your eye, first of all, because it's just gonna look weird with glasses, and second of all, because they're gonna be hidden behind, kinda, depending on your frame. Um, they're usually hidden behind the frames of your glasses, so there's really no point. Leave the bold colors for your lips, though. We'll do that at the end. You don't have to, like, do lipstick when you wear glasses. We're focusing more on the face. But if you are a bold person, you can do the boldness on your lip, not on your eyes. So for that, we're gonna go in with the original Naked Baby. I'm gonna do matte, because since we're doing neutral, I don't know if the whole neutral colors thing also includes matte, but I'm assuming so, because shimmery, like, behind glasses, I don't know, and then sunny, and it goes through your glasses, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna do Naked and Buck. And just apply it all over my lid. That one was naked, by the way. Applying naked. So it's a color that is very similar to my actual um, eyelid. You don't want to do anything too big, neutral colors. And then we're going to go in with a little bit of buck around the corner of the eye. It's just the brush that comes with the naked palette, and I've only used it once, I'm pretty sure. Once or twice. Oh, no. I used it once again on my friend. <gasps> I'm gonna get bacteria from my best friend. <sighs> Just kidding. Let's add some virgin in there. In our corner of the eye to brighten it up a little bit. We've got two steps down. Two times two. Two steps down. <laughs> so step number three is winged eyeliner. Winged eyeliner is the best for when wearing glasses. A couple important things about that is if you have thin frames, that means you should do a thin wing. And if you have thick frames, do a thick, as well as you wanna complement your eyes. So if you have small eyes, you wanna do eyeliner all around the eyes. And if you have bigger eyes, just do like a little bit, like a very tiny bit of eyeliner, not so much. You don't even necessarily have to do the eyeliner part and go big on the mascara, which is our next step. It's either a wing liner or a cat eye that you can do for this. And I'm gonna go in with the wing because that's my thing. And since I have like medium eyes, I don't know if they're small, but I think they're medium. I'm gonna apply some eyeliner on the bottom. And for this part, I'm just gonna go halfway in. Tip number four, curl the lashes. Depends how long your lashes are. Sometimes when I curl mine, like mine are kind of shorter right now. It just depends how many um, fakies I wear. Yes, I'm damaging my own eyelashes. <laughs> but that is the sacrifice I take. Don't wear falsies, actually. Falsies are gonna be really long and rub against your lenses. So you wanna curl them. It depends, just try it out, see if it works. But so that they don't rub on your lenses. Add some mascara. Ta da! I love eyelashes. Whoever invented eyelashes, you. The fifth trick. This is actually pretty cool when I read it. I was like, oh my goodness. If you find your glasses are always writing down your nose and you're always like doing the little nerd like <laughs> a good trick to prevent that is applying primer to the bridge of your nose. How genius is that? Who came up with that? Thank you. I'm using Makeup Forever Step 1 primer and we're just gonna add a little bit of that right there. And the last tip before the big reveal of how I look with glasses on this side and on this side. Tip number six. I actually don't have any of these items to show you guys, but I read that it's a really good idea to add some tinted moisturizer to like right here where your glasses usually sit. And I actually, this happened to me in a previous video. I think it was my face routine video where I had my glasses on all day and they left marks. Don't you hate that? <sighs> glasses problems. You don't want to have these craters that your glasses 
put on your nose. So they recommend Beauty Balm, BB Cream, and BB Foundation also. That would work just to hide that. Like, I don't know if I have them right now, because I did wear my glasses all day, kind of. Almost all day. I don't think I have them right now. But yeah, if I did, that would be a really good idea to do right now. All right, so the big reveal. Let's see the difference. Ta-da! Look at that. And this is the most simple steps we took. Like, we didn't do a whole, like, makeup tutorial. No, like, we just did simple little things to give this side a little pop. And then here, as you can see, not much going on. It's so easy. It's so quick. You can do this in five minutes if you really wanted to. If you're not blabbing on like I am. But yeah, this, this was really insightful for me. So I hope it's really insightful for you guys who wear glasses. And I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe. And follow me on Instagram if you want to see more pictures. I post way more pictures than videos. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Alright, so that's basically all the makeup, other than the lipstick, I haven't chosen one yet. I'm showing you the next step. Oops. I just noticed I got eyeliner around here. When you go too low with the liquid eyeliner at the top, it always comes down to my waterline. Let me know if you, it happens to you guys too, if it's just me. Don't look at my frown, I know I'm frowning. Or pout, whatever I'm doing with my mouth, I know it looks weird, but don't look at it. This is like a tongue twister. What is going on? Anyways, if you have thin frames, do a thin... Why am I messing up so much? Okay. I just messed this up.